Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this one I've just flashed the Cyanogen Mod 11 Android 4.4 KitKat ROM to the Galaxy S3. Uh, it's just a preview, a lot of things aren't working. Uh, but we'll just uh, get this booted up and then we'll see where we can go from there. Okay, so here we are on the first boot. Uh, obviously, a Sanjay mod, so we can uh, set up our Sanjay mod account if we have one. I do, but I'm just going to skip it for now just to show you guys what you can expect from Android 4.4 KitKat. So I'll just type in my uh, details and then we'll get straight into it. Right, as we can see already from uh, this one, everything's all white and stuff. Uh, that's how Google obviously intended KitKat to be. Uh, so it's a bit more flat. I'll just skip all that for now just to get into the ROM. Uh, now we won't have a satellite on, so a bit of battery while we're doing this. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, finish. Uh, okay, so we've got two launchers. It says Launcher 3 and Launcher. I'm guessing that's the Google Experience Launcher. That obviously is on the Nexus 5. Um, let's just show you that one quick, just once. Okay. Alright, so it does look... Um, like the Google Experience Launcher found on the Nexus 5 except for we can't go to Google now by doing that let's just try and see if we can do that oh that was that one, That's what maybe we've got Okay, just once try that one or is that the one I've already been on okay uh, it looks exactly the same if I just oh, try to get back into this one see if we can try Google now All Right. this looks like the new Google now as well All Right. so here we go see if we can get get the slide there we go so you can straight away obviously on KitKat you can go so up to left get into Google now straight away let's see if we can activate it okay Google no okay maybe it has to be a uh... it seems I can't get the where you say hi to Google and then it uh, pops up don't know why if that's just a bug uh, or it's not working but everything seems to be pretty smooth at the moment uh, if we go here uh, we go to the settings we can have a look to see that is actually Android 4.4. Looks like we get a dark UI in this as well, which is always nice. I do like dark UI, although it doesn't seem to do any difference. Obviously, a Sanjay mod, so you do get themes, uh, spare parts from uh, customizations from the team, and that did it. Like I said, let's just go down here. See that we have got, in fact, Android 4.4 KitKat. It's actually nice to see, uh, as, you, as everyone knows, that KitKat was released, I don't know, about a week ago. Uh, so all, all the things are there, so we've got the printing, oh, wrong one, we've got printing, obviously no devices, uh, and the Google Now thing won't work, which is a shame. Uh, we do have the SMS with Hangouts, so that's integrated now as well. And I just text someone and it says that I text them via SMS, which is cool, because you can actually do it with your laptop as well, or tablet, I think, uh, don't quote me on that one. Uh, also, we've got the transparent notification bar. I'll just turn the brightness up there so you can see it. So if I pull that down, you can see behind it as well, which is nice. Let's have a look what else you get. Okay, so obviously we've got the dark theme. Uh, I'll show you. Let's see what we got. Okay, status bar. Uh, so there's not really much to change there. Enable a clock and that's it, really. Uh, notification drawer. Uh, transparency. So you can have your carry labels are and also transparent let's just click that uh, so you can see your background while you're scrolling through your apps I don't personally like this app drawer I think there's no need for it before obviously on ice cream sandwich and jelly bean you had the widgets and your apps in here uh, now just feels like a waste you might as well just have them on the home screen but that's just my opinion on that one let's see what else we can find It does seem pretty smooth, uh, I won't lie about that, it does seem pretty smooth uh, for just, like it's been ported from another device, so I didn't expect it to be this smooth, but it really is. Let's see what else we got. Performance. Let's see if we've got an overclockable kernel in this one. No, we haven't. Uh, we can just change the governors, unfortunately. Uh, so I don't, I don't really know what else to show you guys. 
Uh, obviously it is 4.4 kicker as you saw. It's, it's smooth, it's quick. I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. Change a lot of screens there. So if we can... No, we can't go to Google now or anything like that on that one. Oh, it's a shame. I would like to show you guys how the, uh, the Google Now works. Uh, okay guys, so this was just a brief uh, KitKat video for the Galaxy S3 on Sanjay Mod 11. Like I said, there isn't much here because it's literally just been ported over. Have a quick look. It is in fact called a preview. Uh, so, I mean, you could probably use it as your daily driver. The Wi-Fi is working. I think GPS and Bluetooth aren't working. Uh, let's just have a look. Bluetooth. Okay, so it turns on, but it might not be able to send things over. Uh, apparently 2D acceleration isn't working either, although hopefully that'll be updated soon. And yeah, so that's the KitKat videos, guys. Sorry I couldn't explain so much about it. Honestly, I haven't used it before. This is the first time booting it. Uh, I don't really know much about KitKat, except for, obviously, the Google Now. And the, uh, like, white icons, so it's, like, more flat. Uh, so, like I said, I don't really know what else to show you. Uh, we've got some KitKat wallpapers in there. Just whack that one on. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, KitKat, guys. I hope to get a more stable, more features in this ROM and then do another video on it. So if you like this video, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos.